Ed Sikoda, one of the greatest traders in history, the man who laid the foundation for computer-based and algorithmic trading long before the world even knew what algo trading meant. Back in the early 1970s, when Wall Street ran on paper charts, phone calls, and gut feelings, Sikoda did something revolutionary. He brought a computer into the game. While others trusted instincts, he trusted data. And that single decision would forever change how markets are traded. In today's video, we'll uncover 1. Who is Ed Sikoda? 2. What are the five key principles that helped him achieve over 300,000% returns, turning just $5,000 into $15 million? But here's what makes his story truly remarkable. Ed didn't come from privilege or power or access. He started with almost nothing. No advanced tools, no AI, no fancy terminals, just a brilliant mind a mainframe computer, and an unshakable belief in systems over emotions. Part 1. Who is Ed Sykota? Ed Sykota, a name that doesn't often appear in mainstream headlines, yet his fingerprints are all over modern trading. He's widely known as the father of computerized trading systems, a pioneer who dared to let machines make trading decisions when everyone else relied on instinct and emotion. Born in 1946, Sykota was fascinated by markets from a young age. After earning his degree in electrical engineering from MIT, he became intrigued by how systems and feedback loops could be applied to financial markets, much like how engineers built control systems to stabilize machines. In the early 1970s, while most of Wall Street operated through phone calls and paper charts, Ed did something radical. At a small brokerage firm, he gained access to an IBM 360 mainframe computer, a massive room-sized machine, and began running simulations to test trading ideas. His inspiration came from Richard Donchian, one of the earliest trend followers who proposed simple moving average crossover systems. Sykota took that idea and coded it into the computer. He discovered that a rules-based trend-following system could outperform emotional, human-driven trading decisions. That experiment marked the birth of systematic and algorithmic trading. But what truly stunned the financial world was his performance. Over a 12-year period, Sykota reportedly helped a client turn $5,000 into $15 million, an astronomical gain of 300,000%. And it wasn't due to luck, insider tips, or excessive leverage. It was pure discipline, mathematical logic, and unwavering adherence to his system through every market condition, bull or bear. His success didn't stay in the shadows. Sykota went on to mentor and inspire a new generation of trading legends. Michael Marcus, who turned $30,000 into $80 million, and Bruce Kovner, founder of Caxton Associates, who later became a billionaire with an estimated net worth of over $9 billion. Both men credited Sykota's philosophy, follow trends, manage risk, and master emotion as foundational to their success. In essence, Ed Sykota wasn't just another trader chasing profits. He was a visionary, the blueprint behind every modern trend-following fund and algorithmic strategy that dominates today's financial markets. Part 2. The Five Secrets Behind Ed Sykota's Success Ed Sykota's beginnings were far more modest than most people imagine. In the early 1970s, computers weren't something traders could easily access. They were rare, expensive, and filled entire rooms. Yet, with limited tools and resources, Ed built a system that outperformed nearly everyone on Wall Street. Many assume that to become a legendary trader and to influence billion-dollar hedge fund managers, Ed Sakota must have discovered some hidden formula or secret algorithm. But the truth is the opposite. His genius wasn't in complexity. It was in simplicity and emotional control. 
Sikoda understood early on that the biggest enemy in trading isn't the market, it's our own emotions, fear, greed, and impatience. So he built systems not to predict the future, but to remove emotion from every decision. His approach wasn't based on mysterious indicators or secret data feeds. It was built on simple tools like moving averages, price trends, and clear risk limits. Yet through those simple elements, he discovered the timeless foundation of trading success, distilled into five powerful principles that continue to guide traders around the world today. Principle number one, focus on price patterns and market data, not fundamentals. Ed Sikoda believed that everything you need to know is already reflected in the price. While Wall Street analysts pored over balance sheets, quarterly reports, and CEO interviews, Sikoda was staring at something far simpler, the chart. To him, price and volume weren't just numbers, they were the language of the market, the collective psychology of millions of participants expressed through movement. He often pointed out that traders get trapped by stories. When a company is about to release strong earnings, the insiders and institutions, the smart money, have already acted. By the time the good news hits CNBC or Bloomberg, the buying is done. The crowd rushes in late, and that's usually when the market turns. Sikoda understood this cycle deeply. He realized that reacting to market data was far more reliable than reacting to news. Prices move first, explanations come later. That's why he ignored forecasts, predictions, and economic opinions. His charts told him everything he needed to know, the trend, the momentum, the sentiment. And his philosophy could be summed up in one line he loved to repeat. If you are a bird, don't try to swim underwater. Trade in your element. Follow the data, not the drama. It's a principle that separated Sikoda from the crowd and still separates the great traders from the average ones today. Principle number two, follow the trend. The trend is your friend. Ed Sikoda's entire system was built on one timeless truth. Markets move in trends and your job as a trader is to ride them, not fight them. While most traders spent their energy trying to predict where the market would turn, Sikoda did the opposite. He didn't chase tops or bottoms, he simply waited for the market to reveal its direction. Once the trend was confirmed, he got on board and stayed there until it ended. His motto was simple, the trend is your friend until it bends. This wasn't just a catchy phrase, it was the core of his success. In the 1970s, during the great bull markets in commodities like gold, silver, and oil, Sikoti's systems captured huge moves that made fortunes for his clients. While others jumped in and out based on opinions or fear, he followed the price, mechanically, consistently, without emotion. He understood that trend following isn't about being right, it's about being aligned. The market doesn't care about opinions, it only rewards those who respect its direction. And that's why, decade after decade, Sikoda's simple philosophy outperformed the smartest forecasts on Wall Street. Principle number three, strict risk management. If there was one rule Ed Sikoda lived and breathed, it was this, cut your losses fast. He was obsessed with risk, not returns. While most traders dream about profits, Sikoda focused on survival. His philosophy was brutally simple. If you manage your losses, the profits will take care of themselves. His famous quote says it all. The elements of good trading are 1. Cutting losses, 2. Cutting losses, and 3. Cutting losses. If you can follow these three rules, you may have a chance. Sequoia often said that great traders aren't the ones who make the most money, they're the ones who lose the least when they're wrong. That simple difference determines who survives long enough to win. By protecting his capital first, Sequoia ensured he could keep playing the game, and that's how his winners had the chance to compound exponentially over time. Because in trading, as he proved, 
Defense always comes before offense. Principle number four. Cut losses fast. Let winners run. Ed Sakota didn't care much about how often he was right. What mattered to him was how big he won when he was right versus how small he lost when he was wrong. He built his entire trading philosophy around this concept of asymmetry, where one large winner could pay for dozens of small losses. He often compared trading to running a business. Your winning trades are your revenue. Your losing trades are your expenses. And as long as the revenue exceeds the expenses, you make a profit. In a retail store, a business owner might sell some products at a loss just to attract customers, knowing that the real profit comes from the high margin items that follow. Trading works the same way. Cutting small losses quickly keeps you in the game long enough to catch those big waves, the once-in-a-year trends that can transform an account. Sakota famously said, win or lose, everybody gets what they want from the market. Most traders secretly want excitement. They crave the adrenaline of being right. But Sakota wanted something different, profits. So he designed his system to ensure that when the market moved in his favor, he didn't interrupt the process with emotion or ego. He let the winners run freely, allowing compounding to do the heavy lifting, while keeping his losses small, fast, and painless. In the end, that was his true edge. He didn't chase perfection. He simply made sure that when he lost, he lost little. And when he won, he won big. Principle number five, don't predict the market, react to price. If you've ever watched financial news, you've seen it, a lineup of experts confidently predicting where the market will go next. This stock is set to soar next week. The market will crash by next month. And yet, time and time again, the market does the exact opposite. Psychota saw prediction as the most dangerous trap in trading. He once said, Trying to predict the market is like trying to predict the weather a year in advance. It's a waste of time. The danger of prediction is psychological. Once you make a forecast, you become emotionally invested in being right. You start filtering information to confirm your view, ignoring every signal that says you're wrong. This confirmation bias blinds traders, leading them to hold losing positions long past the point of no return. Psychota refused to play that game. He didn't predict, he reacted. His systems were designed to follow price, not opinion. If prices went up, he bought. If prices went down, he sold. No debate, no emotion. And that's what made his system powerful. It worked even when he wasn't watching. It was mechanical, disciplined, and pure. By removing prediction, he removed ego. By removing ego, he removed hesitation. And without hesitation, he allowed himself to flow with the market, not fight against it. In Psychota's world, reacting to price wasn't just a strategy. It was a philosophy. Trade what you see, not what you think. Because the moment you start predicting the market, the market will humble you. The Takeaway Ed Sakota's story isn't about luck or secret indicators. It's about discipline, simplicity, and emotional mastery. He proved that you don't need to be a genius. You just need a system that removes emotion and follows the trend. From $5,000 to $15 million, from one man and a computer to inspiring a generation of billionaire traders, his legacy continues to shape how the markets are traded today. So if you found value in this video and you want more deep dives into trading legends like Ed Sakota, Richard Dennis, or Bruce Kovner, hit subscribe, turn on the bell, and if you'd like to support our channel, consider donating through Super Thanks or joining our membership community.